Hello YouTube, welcome back to another war video. So you can see here we've come up against the alliance called Hulk. And my first fight is actually going to be against a version of Hulk. Um, you're going to see here that I'm going into war pretty soon after it started. I uh, decided to assign myself um, Falcon, Nimrod and also Human Torch for this war. It's going to be very weird. Um... It still feels weird using Torch in War, but it's going to be very weird again. At the end of this season, I'm pretty sure not to be using Torch again for at least two seasons. So, you can see there, that's the team. Put Sick and Tired on, but none of these champions are affected by the global, so it's just a natural um, reminder to myself to do it every time, just in case. So, you're going to see here that I'm going to join and going to be going on to Path 7. So... If I was going to be assigning this fight in a much higher war, and um, potentially looking for the podium spots, for example, you would probably 100% be putting like a, um, a white Magneto or something on this. But I know I only had three champions to pick and I had to get through some very diverse fights. So decided to uh, skip it and see how it goes with Falcon. So this is on the Conflictor and the uh, Special node. So whenever they throw a Special, obviously it's 50% less power. So what I wanted to do here quite early on is I wanted to just lock on and do some damage. But then I wanted to test whether the parry would stick and give them power or not with the Conflictor being that they're locked on. And the answer is that yes, they still get the power. Uh, so that's good to know for the rest of this fight. So you're going to see here, he throws a Special 2 and that's fair enough, happy with that. Don't mind pushing him to special 2 either way. He's about 50% of the health down and they're on 10 of the charges. So I know that I'm going to have to deal with a um, immortal phase at some point. So here I'm just kind of trying to like bait an opening. I was trying to do it without uh, parrying but I get to the point where I just stop caring about parrying to be honest. Uh, Falcon is going to be used for these first two fights on path 7. Both science champions, both pretty annoying that Falcon can deal with. So we're going to get down to the uh, towards the end of the fight here. You can see he's on 19 charges, two bars of power. I do parry by accident. I seem to do that a lot in this war. Um, I'm going to call it like um, Dex parrying. And here, oh my goodness, look at this. He's got me in the corner, unblockable. I'm all trapped up. I throw the first attack to try and hit while well, try and like, hit him while he's missing. And then the second, just to be able to catch him with a light attack to make sure that he can't just start swinging at me in the corner again. But as you can see from the thumbnail, that's why I said what I said. Falcon's just obviously the skill quake. What a what a what a man. But anyway, we've um, we've stopped simping over Falcon now. So we're gonna go into this next fight against Thing. Done this fight a few times before in the past. Just remember about Vivified and Brute Force being a bit of a pain. Brute Force, obviously, if Thing decides to be a bit of a nightmare. And you get situations like that where you just can't seem to land an attack or a parry or anything for any useful amount of time. But Falcon, because Thing's not going to have any extra ability accuracy, don't need to worry about any rock stacks at all while he's on the lock-on. Because the last time I used Falcon on Thing, I'm pretty sure I actually died. Because it was the end of path 7 where they have the aspect of evolution. So his uh, ability accuracy just got too high. Here I decided to take a little bit of brute force damage and that hit to the block. Just to force the lock on so that in 2 seconds time. He's going to throw the special. Nice and easy as you like from Thing. Throw the special 2. And he's, he's in the bin. So that's Falcon's fights. For section one, well, Falcon's fights in general for this war, all done. Just going to move up to this kingpin because I decided that I'll have loads of energy and blah, blah, blah. So, we come into war a little bit later on. You see here, there's still 18 hours left. The, the middle first fight has been taken, the node 22. And I'm looking at this Ebony Moor, and the officers said, we want a pre-fight on it. Um, we want to make sure we're safe, better safe than sorry. And me being me just decides that I'm going to steal this fight and the um, APOC fight. 
and I'm going to do this one without the pre-fight as well. So you can see I, I put on a little bit bigger boost than what I have been because I don't have the pre-fight and I was a little bit more concerned. It's the first time I've done this fight and I wanted to kind of see how the node was properly working. Probably not the best time to test it in season, but um, you've got you've got to do it at some point, right? So we go into this and uh, very, very late on the heavy there. It's a good job this guy was not running uh, Max Limber. I would have definitely been punished there if that was a... Um, a top alliance war sort of like contender fight like we currently had with gt versus ja that was going on at the same time um yeah that would have hurt this would have also hurt i'm not sure why i decided to um take that hit but decided for whatever reason being me or the game that i didn't want to put my block up for that bit i think it might have been because of the bubble shield if i remember rightly thinking at the time but this route um it's actually quite funny. Every single time I get rooted, I just start swinging. Um, and I don't really know why, but you can see there it wasn't too bad in the end. And I'm just going to let them die out. Um, 27, 28% health. A little bit annoying. Means that I've got to um, use a potion or so. And this. Wow. If you want to see how a fight goes from, oh, this is going to be easy to holy shit, I actually need to wake up very quickly uh, to be able to finish this fight. You're going to see it happen now. So, again, I'd probably normally say you get a white Magneto, but other people hadn't joined yet, and I was waiting to try and do these fights just to see if I could make everybody else's life a little bit easier when they were picking champs. Uh, plan of action was to wait until the bleed phase, and then totally stomp out all his prowesses, and then just absolutely nuke him with the special twos. What I didn't expect was to try and dex, hit a parry a couple too many times and give him a special three. So I'm thinking, ah, 17% health, that's all it took. But then I got the random degen on me because the, the special picks any debuff it wants. And you can see my health is just ticking away. Um, <laughs> We're down to 40 now, and it still doesn't look like it's getting any better. I'm in the shock phase, so I can't attack. We finally hit the bleed phase, so I decided to throw the special 2 to get some damage in. Because if I was going to die, which I didn't intend to still at this point, then I'd rather at least um, I'd rather at least take some health off to make it easier the next time. So we're back into the shock phase. Obviously, again, Conflict is now active too. So any parry is going to give him power. Um, I can't hit them while they're shocked because I'm going to die. So I now just have to basically try and survive this fight. So we put parry, get the special two there. Take a couple of hits to the block because I know it's not going to do anything. Now we're back into the shock phase, so I need to get ready again. And you're going to see just... At this point, it was weird. I was actually rather calm. Um, I was like, right, if he doesn't throw a special, I'm, I'm still sound. I've got a perfect chance here to absolutely still win this fight. I just need to get into this phase, get this special two thrown off before the shocks. And you see, I just get that last one in and he dies. So managed to take like 90 odd percent of that rank four Apox health with like 4% on Nimrod. So yes, potions were definitely applied and realistically should have used an inborn because it would have probably saved me a potion on both ebony moor and apoc now we come on to this mordo now this mordo was actually a little bit trickier than what i anticipated and that was because i messed up so like i said some very sketchy fights um i i did mess up quite heavily this i did put an inborn on for um claimed the one that we got given right away at the start because Mordo is pretty much guaranteed to hit at least one special free. He just has that AI. So here I noticed that obviously he's going backwards and he's got the power gain. And I'm thinking, right, okay, let me just bait this one if I can. So he literally throws that straight away, which was perfect. And now we're in the place where he's going to get another power gain in a second. And I just decide to throw a heavy attack. And I throw a couple of heavy attacks. And then instantly think, what are you doing? Why have you just given him conduit? So now he can't take any damage, basically. So now you have to wait out all this time before you can actually ever do any damage again. 
So you're going to see there, he's just regening constantly. And we're just waiting, and we're just waiting, and he goes for a power game phase. And then we're just waiting, because <laughs> the spike, we want this special two. They finally throw it. And there, I probably should have tried to get the combo a little bit better. But here, at this point, I'm now like, right, okay, look, I can't, I cannot trigger um, like that conduit again. It just can't happen. I still have two more goes on the special three from the indestructible. So let's just work with that. And you're going to see here, the next one, same again, just take the special three. Now he's got his natural regen and the furies. I don't mind that, it's fine. Um, trying to kind of like dex again, but you can see I'm just, every time I seem to be hitting dex at the moment, I just seem to be parrying. There I let that go. Um, and I can openly admit, yes, I, I must have let go of my screen because I just completely dropped the block, took hits to the face and that was it. So I tried to finish that combo, throw a special free to do as much damage as I could. The then, the then aim was to just watch him die and hope that they didn't throw the special free quick because my indestructible was gone. And as you can see, that happened. So thankfully, in my opinion, that's the sketchy fights all gone. Um, Nimrod on Domino here. So she started with a, like a, a wake up heavy attack, which was really weird. Um, not, not seen many champions apart from Mysterio and Chavez and people like that do that very often. But I'm just going to take this fight really calm. Like <laughs> I've had a, I've had a pretty wild two fights, um, a three fights probably actually, with Mordo, I Hulk, and um, Nimrod. Yeah, yeah, with um, Nimrod versus Apoc. So we're going to go here and again. I'm just going to try and get to the special two. I don't have bleed suicides or anything. I believe at this point I was like 10% boosted, maybe a little bit more, I think. But she she woke up from the uh, stun quite quickly there because of the lucky, stopping the, uh, the stun timer as quick. And I throw the special two just to see how much damage we're looking at. And yeah, we're, we're pretty good. So I need to bait a special. I still have my indestructible boost on. So if she wants to throw a special free because I've might managed to uh, miss a dex, then she can go for it. And you can see here, I just decided to push her to it. I'm like, right, you know what? You put me all the way to the, my corner without giving me a single special. This is outrageous. Outrageous gameplay. We may as well call this a special free simulator. So here, we're gonna be uh, then going back into it and just paying attention to everything. I know that as soon as I hit the next special two, she's dead. Um, so I'm just gonna hit it now. And that's it, fight over. So that's both sections done. Uh, I did this pretty much like, for the most part before anyone else kind of like joined and needed to, as you can see. So I tried to just make it easy for everybody else. Now, when we were looking at this fight, um, originally, the assignment said that the, they were going to put a white Magneto pre-fight onto this mini-boss uh, and to use uh, a tech boost. Now, I spoke to the officer and said, look, I don't really want a white Magneto uh, because it's going to just double her prowesses and it's going to make it a little bit more annoying. Um, and realistically, I just want to deal with this phasing and these prowesses as soon as I can. And then also at the same time, I don't really think, for the most part, the tech power back boosts on Nimrod actually do anything beneficial to him, just because most of the damage comes from the shock. So now we've just got to deal with Conflictor and this Puncture Prowess. So where I can, I'm gonna push it to special two. Fully dodge that, make sure I keep going into um, this orange phase, and then just smash it with the special twos. And you're gonna see here, that I, um, I get this special two thrown. Again, it's all going pretty swimmingly, to be honest. We, um, we're not really having to worry about anything. She throws another special two there, which was nice. And it's just rinse and repeat. Like, honestly, this hurt. This did about 20 odd percent, and I was like, okay, no more special ones for you. That can uh, no longer be allowed. So we're just gonna push it to special two again in a second, there we go. I have a few armor ups. I'm gonna switch phases, throw the special two, and end the fight against the rank four kitty. Now, what I didn't realize um, until after this and watching the video back 
is I didn't boost at all, um, <laughs> which was really annoying. You can see here, we ended up winning the war, so GG's to Hulk. Good luck for the rest of the season. But yeah, that was my bad on the kitty. I can't believe I didn't even boost at all. That's, uh, that's really bad. Oh, well, hope to see everybody in the next video, and I'll catch you soon.